on, folks. It is K-Spade the Prospect, YouTube's best kept secret. I'm back today with a brand new Pro-Am gameplay for you guys. Of course, I'm on the Xbox One. I'm rocking with my squad, The Made Man, and we are back still experimenting with Mob Barley. We're trying to get Mob to fit in with TMM. We want to make it work like a good puzzle piece. Right now, it's a little shaky. So I brought you guys a video last night that was the debut of Mob. Mob ran with Styles in that gameplay. We was kind of... It didn't really work well together, but I'm not ready to give up on it. Like, you see these professional teams, they make trades. It takes a while for the chemistry to get right. It takes a while, so I'm still working on it. So we're back today. I got another one for you guys. The roster looks a little bit different, so let me go ahead and introduce the team so you'll know what's going on. We got my little bro Cook at the 1. We got the Shooter Tryout, Day at the 2. You got Mob at the 3, Rap at the 4, and we got Philly at the 5. Now, let me take a split moment to talk about what we got going on out here on the court now you see we got cook out here because we kind of do more freelance stuff when we run with cook i don't know if cook likes to freelance or he doesn't he's just easy going like i don't know if cook get mad i ain't never seen him mad i ain't never heard him sound mad he really just a laid-back dude and he's all right with whatever so like if you want to experiment cook is kind of that guy styles pretty much has a specific way he wants things done his way works, so you kind of feel crazy saying, I don't want to do it that way. Styles was actually, let me make sure I say this right, because I don't want to make it sound like Styles was pissed at Mob. Styles was cool with Mob, but I just felt like it didn't flow as well as I wanted it to. And I'm not giving up on running with Styles either. I just wanted to try something different. So we out here with Cook at the 1. Day is still on his tryout. And I want to say this. Super cool guy, got nothing but nice things to say about him. But the thing that's tough about trying folks out when you try out somebody at the walk on and when you try somebody out against a lesser talented team it's really tough to evaluate whether or not they're gonna work because the lights ain't really that bright but on this particular run here tonight the lights had got pretty bright fam like sweat was beating up on our heads bro like the lights was bright the stage we was on the main stage right so you're gonna see this kid it's gonna be a lot of pressure on him probably more pressure than he's ever played on you know and that's no that's no shot at him and no shade to him but if i'm not mistaken i think this particular night tmm started the night off like 60 second on the leaderboard so we running against some better talent and i don't know if this kid has played against that type of talent so keep an eye on that that's like a little sub story keep an eye on that but the big story here is the fact that we're trying to make this mob experiment work i spent a lot of time working on this character man trying to get badges and trying to make sure his dreads the right length and all that shit man like this is serious to me so i want it to work and i'm just not willing to give up on it just yet i kind of got an issue anyway i don't like to give up on nothing so that's why if something kicked my ass i usually come back so that's just who i am as a person and as you can see so far it looks real good tmm up 17 to 8 early in the first quarter running no sets now we still coming down the court we kind of setting up in our corners like we running five out and that's just for spacing purposes and I've said this a thousand times, I'm going to keep saying it, at least until somebody at 2K hear me, but the court is still too small. Look at Mob right here. Finding the space to take the last shot of the quarter, and I can't be mad at nobody. That was a great look. I got the shot I wanted. I just ain't make it. And I ain't even mad. 2K, you ain't do nothing wrong right there. I just didn't make the shot. Whatever we started off with in that first quarter, though, we kind of lost it somewhere. I don't know what happened. We got a little bit slack, uh, a little bit sloppy here in the second quarter, and the shots just really weren't falling. And on the flip side, they was actually moving the ball well and making some shots. So they started to rally a little bit. You see right here, man, we got a four-point game early in the second quarter. After being up, you know, double digits, I ain't really concerned about the four points, but I recognize what's going on here. I'm sitting here like, oh, okay, these jokers trying to make a little comeback. Great defense right here from Mob. Closing out on the shooter, affecting that shot, making them miss, but they would get the offensive board. Now, defensively, check us out on this possession. Just look at the white jerseys, man. We everywhere. If you play that zone defense and you play it right, against your opponent sometimes, it'll feel like it's six of y'all. They'll really feel like they playing five on six. Every time they move, you pass them off to another person. Next thing you know, they making mistakes like that right there. Turning the ball over, and they had to foul Cook on that play so we wouldn't get an easy fast break. We jump ahead, it's still a four point game. You're gonna notice the slappiness continues. Like it ain't one person, it was the whole team. Like offensively, we just couldn't get right. So even though we prefer to go freelance, you gotta know when the hole and when the four. Well, all that shit Kenny Rogers was saying, that shit is true. So right here, you're gonna see us kinda go to like a four out, got a high screen for Cook. He comes off the pick, knocks down the mid range shot. We just had to restore law and order out here, man. Like it was going crazy. But I think we straight now. Now y'all know how I feel about the first half. 
I know they're going to make a run. I know they're going to rally. But if we can finish the first half with a lead, I feel extremely confident going into that second half. Great defense leads to easy offense. Cook throws it up. Oh, my God. Mob, I'll take that. But I really want to do that. You're supposed to put your whole arm in the rim right there, Mob. Like, I've been hyping you up, bro. You're supposed to be flying over dudes. That's what we expect to see. We almost turn over that inbound right there. Mob gets a great look at the three. Then time that jumper right, rushed it a little bit. They're pushing the tempo. It's still a four-point game, mind you. And they settle for that long-ass three. Now, I know that guy's going to say he can make that shot, but they probably could have taken a higher percentage shot. I ain't mad, though. 20 seconds on the clock before the half. We got picks set up up top. You got people falling down. Mob would have pulled that if he was I say, but Mob don't want that. Cook stops in his comfort zone, pulls the midi, and it's going to rattle around. Give you a little bit of drama before finally going down. Seven seconds on the clock. Man, we got a six-point lead. I, I like a bigger lead, but I'm going to keep it a being with you. If we go into the half with this right here, I feel good. I ain't going to front. I feel good. So that's exactly what happens. The first half comes to the close. TMM has a small lead. We shooting 65% from the field, so I can't be too upset about that. I mean, I would like to shoot better, but I can't be too upset about that. Rap only got one miss. Philly only got one miss. We're going to be all right. If Rap get going, you know, we good anyway. We'll feed it to him if we need to. Starting the second half off, let's see how they come out the gate. Now, I know they got to feel like, man, we was right here. We brought it back. We was down two or four, so they feeling good, and you want to take that life out of them. I don't like for my opponent to feel good ever. Like, not even at the tip-off. I want him shook at the tip-off if I can help it. High pick for Cook. He slows it up, throws the oop to Philly. I swear, Philly, I'm going to give you hell right here, bro. Philly has finished the lowest percentage of alley-oops of anybody I ever ran with. And then again, that might be misleading because he'll finish it, but he ain't finna finish the oop. He going to come down with it, and then he'll go back and finish it. Day comes up with a big defensive play. The guy known for his shooting, making a play on the defensive end. I see you, Harden. I see you trying to make it shake. Give up a three right here. Great look. He knocks it down. We can't have that. Now, while we're trying to figure things out offensively, the one thing that's kind of been constant for us is how well we've been playing on the defensive end. You don't want to get lazy. You don't want to start rotating poorly on the defensive end and get these guys to hope all that damn computer-generated momentum to get them back in the game. You don't want that. I don't know why I'm playing so high with Mob like he can shoot from there. I'm looking at my own gameplay wondering why I'm standing where I'm standing at. And this is one of those times where... The, the freelancers look crazy. They set Mob up right there, too. I think that was Day. Threw Mob the ball with, like, less than a second on the shot clock, forcing me to throw up that bad shot. You owe me one, bruh. You owe me. I ain't want that shot. Never want that shot. Still got a real close game right here. Defensively, we better get right. I, I see some mistakes we making watching the gameplay. I see the mistakes. We better get right. Before I can even get that out my mouth, we give up a three. They don't convert it, but he had a great look. They get the offensive board, swing it around the perimeter. Look at us, man. We better tighten up, y'all. This thing, go if we lose this game, I'm going to be so tight. Like, I wouldn't even end the game. Like, watching it, I'm going to be pissed off. Great defense right here, man. We're making them use the entire shot clock. Good close out on that shot. They get nothing. I mean, we look sloppy at times, but we finish strong. Step back right here. Look at Mom for three. Bang, bang, chicken wing. Let's go. And, you know, that shot right there really ain't a a shot that I should be taking so I still got the mentality of a sharpshooter I'm gonna get right but it works out when you make the shot nobody's upset mob off the dribble drive stopping and pulling I really thought that Philly had set the pick and I would get the boost for pick and roll maestro but if you look at that play again the defender somehow or another he avoided the screen like he walked right around the screen without getting clipped and that's probably why I missed that shot but we got a tie game folks this team did rally back like I knew they would Got a tie game. 35 seconds left in the third. You see Cook going to the rack right here. Two hands for safety. And, you know, I, I'm telling you we cool. I think we was cool. But I'm watching this gameplay like, damn, we can't put these guys away. Every time we try to pull off, they be right there. Fourth quarter action, man. You got them coming out, pulling big ball shots like that. They either feeling desperate or they feeling confident. And I hope it ain't confident. That man just pulled a long-ass three, cashed it. I felt like the defense was pretty good there, too. Cook getting the screen, going around the screen, drawing two. I wanted to see him go back to Philly right there, but this will work just as well. Rap caught it on that corner. Instead of settling for the three, put it on the court, get to the basket with the floater. Beautiful play. I see you, Rap. Who taught you that? Me, right? Even if I didn't, I'm taking credit for it. Three-point game, man. I'm kind of out of my zone, but getting back in time to close out on the shooter. And again, we're making him use the whole shot clock until here. 
bang, bang. Oh my God, bro. We played great defense until about eight seconds on the shot clock. We gave up the corner three. I don't really like when we give up the corner three because to me it's the highest percentage three-point shot on the court. It's just the one area you don't want to give up. Like, you never really want to give up anything, but realistically, you know the other team going to make shots, and you can't be perfect. They're going to find holes in the zone. They're going to expose you. But I don't like giving up that corner three, bro, because everybody can shoot from there. I don't care what your archetype is, bro. You can shoot from there. Trust me. We get a big-time defensive play right here from Philly in the paint. Kicking it up to Mob. Mob gets fouled. And it's a clear path. I don't see this call enough. I wish they call this more. Clear path foul. Mob goes to the charity stripe. He just like I say. That boy like free stuff. He ain't missing no free throws. Made the first. Got an Irish Spring green soap bar on the second. And that put us back up four points. And there's less than three minutes left in the game. All we got to do is continue to score. Let's just not, let's not piss the bed here, y'all. I hate that I even have to say that. But you know this is the moment of the game where you can make one mistake. And that's your ass. I've seen it before. I know y'all seen it. Like, you can make a mistake right here and walk up out of here with an L. Great cut to the basket. Great find. We finished that one right there. That's six points. I'm, I'm calling game. I feel like Paul Pierce. I call game. Like, you give me a six-point lead this late in the game, I don't want to believe we can mess this up, but we doing stuff like this. Come on, bro. We give up a three. I'm sure my team would say, hey, it wasn't in the corner. You said you don't want to give up no corner three. You didn't say nothing about the wing. We give up the corner three. They close the gap by three points. We go right back. And it's crazy. Cook plays so quiet that at times when I see him handling the rock, he's moving around. I don't know if he's looking for me to cut. I feel like he's waiting on something to happen and I don't know what. But he came through in the clutch. He made a big time three down the stretch to put us back up defensively. We locked up and we closed the curtains on him. So I don't know, y'all. I'm going to be checking the comment section. You know, usually y'all pretty free with your comments. So I know y'all going to let me know what you think about it. I'm not ready to give up on it just yet, though. We're going to make sure that we figure it out. We're going to iron out the kinks. We're going to get it to work. But in the meantime, Mob might be kind of disrupting things over here in TMM. We'll see. But anyway, folks, that is all I got for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, drop that like. If you new, hit subscribe. That's all I got for today. I'm out, y'all. Peace.